Hello, it's your girl Marcia Hawkins here with Rich Girl Network TV, live at the 20th annual First Ladies High Tea at the Beverly Hills Beverly Hilton Hotel. Please stay tuned for more from richgirlnetwork.tv. I am here with the beautiful Cece Winan. Please tell us, what are you excited to see at today's event that happens every year? What is What are you looking forward to seeing? Well, you know what? It's been years since I've been here. I came to sing years ago, so I really don't know what to expect. I just know I love Lisa. I know everything she does is with class, and I'm honored to be here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, I grew up listening to your music. I'm a preacher's kid. So I grew up listening to all the whinings. I love the song, and whenever I get married, I'm waiting on Mr. Wright. Okay, right. Wait. I would love for you and BB to sing I Just Want to Be Close to You. That is my favorite, favorite song. Oh, that would be really, really sweet. Close to you, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome song. It's about a friendship, it's about love. A lot of times we take each other for granted, and we really forget what life would be, out, be without one another, you know? So, awesome song, thank you. What projects are you working on? How, how, like, well, what can you know, we see I you? I finished my new one um, called Let Them Fall In Love. I have a new project that was produced and written by my son. And I'm excited about that. So I've been touring that right now. Nothing else in the making right now. Just let them fall in love. Well, we need to fall in love with Jesus yes. more. That's the root of the relationship. Yes. And once that one is growing and progressing, then everything else falls in place. You got that right. You got that right. Thank you so much. So tell us, what new products are you working on? Because you're everywhere. We see you all over social media. You're oh at every goodness. event, every feature. Like, where can we find you? Wow, you're so sweet. Um, well, actually, I have a recurring on the mayor right now that um, I'm excited about. And But I'm I'm here celebrating my 20th anniversary for my nonprofit. So I've been really, really delving into that for Amazing Grace Conservatory. And it's been transformative work, not only in L.A., but for, oh my God, it's transformed like thousands of lives. So I'm just really, really excited. That's amazing. Tell us a little bit more about the nonprofit. What do they do um, oh, at your nonprofit? Okay. Tell us so all oh, the viewers can know. Yeah, wow. Um, well, we teach acting, voice, dance, spoken word, and media arts. But beyond that, we give a platform for young people to express themselves. So we build self-esteem through self-expression. And um, we've just really cracked the yoke for a lot of young people to just express themselves in a non-judgmental environment. So we do three shows a year where you're around and um, visit us. Visit our website at AmazingGraceConservatory.org. Thank you. My question to you is, working with a lot of the youth, what do you find is a struggle why a lot of youth are afraid to express themselves in the way that they want to? What is keeping or holding them back? You know, cyberbullying and social media has just really been such a huge... Um, God, I want to say it's been such a negative force and impact. You know, we can use it for good. I have a lot of young people that have transformed it and used it for good. But um, it's really gotten a lot of the self-esteem down, you know, because our kids are into, well, how many likes did I get? How many uh, comments, you know, and what the comments are. So we have to be really careful with our words and what we're saying to young people. So um, that's that's been a big thing. Yeah. Social media and bullying. I would agree. What are you looking forward to seeing today? Um, just a little bit of everybody. I've known Lisa Collins and I've supported LA Focus for over 20 years. So I'm just excited to be here and be a guest and be an honoree. Yes. <laughs> okay.